is it to evaluate running backs when Balazs has had some injuries? Benny, the same. How difficult is that right now, with, especially for those two? You know, I, I feel like we got a, I got a handle on it pretty early um, when they were all healthy and up. Um, Benny, of course, I've known for a, a period of time now, so I have, you know, I'm way more familiar with him. Need to get, um, you know, KB a little bit better. Um, but like I said, early on, I was able to do that. So I feel pretty good about what they can do and what they're capable of doing. Now you have 22 for a whole lot more hands-on here the last month or so. Has he been what you expected? Was anything he's done that you didn't expect? or? or Absolutely. I mean, I, absolutely. There's, there's nothing to be desired there. Just continue to uh, chip away at it, and, and the more reps he gets, the better it gets. Coach, when you have a player that you can see with the naked eye, the untrained eye is special, what does it do for you personally as a coach, challenge-wise? You know, you feel like you have to fall. Like, when you have a talent like that as a coach, obviously you want to get the most out of it. So you put that pressure on yourself to make sure he knows what he's doing. Um, you know, and then you also have to make sure you're not catching yourself watching like a fan, too. Because, I mean, there's <laughs> things that happen out there. You'd be like, man, did you just see that? Um, so I always try to come with something to coach him up on, some detail. Um, and, and, you know, so we can continue to push that uh, train down the track and, and, and get him as good as he can be by game one. How do you prepare 